Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Before we get into it, make sure you subscribe, turn notifications on, like the video, and also comment because I might reply back to you. But anyway, let's get into the video. So basically today I wanted to talk about Krampus because I really, really enjoy holiday stories and like before I really start talking about it, everyone's story and versions of stories is different because everyone has their own culture, everyone has their own version of the story because of the country they're in. So I'm really just speaking from my experience with the different holiday stories and folklore and beliefs and all that. So so where I'm from, there really isn't any stories regarding Krampus because the only reason that people in my country even know about him is because of movies, because like the movies became really popular. For example, the movie Krampus that came out in 2015 was basically about this boy who says he hates Christmas. And then because he says that Santa Claus doesn't come and give him a gift, Krampus does. And Krampus doesn't give gifts, he gives punishment. So that was really scary. It's a scary movie for the most part. Um, I feel like it's a little bit longer than it should have been, but it's a really good movie in my opinion. And basically, Krampus is the opposite of Santa Claus. Krampus basically, if you're a bad kid, you are not getting gifts, you are getting punishment. Which is like, I feel like it's kind of extreme. Because I was reading stories about it, and like, Krampus, I read somewhere that he was like, scaring children really bad. So I wanted to like, make this video to be like, oh, what if Krampus was in Star Stable? But I don't really know how that would work, because like, you can't really tell which players are good or bad because the whole point of Santa Claus and Krampus in a lot of stories is that Santa Claus will reward you with gifts but Krampus will reward you with punishment if you're bad so you're not gonna get like coal in a stocking you're gonna get like attacked by Krampus which is like so scary you know and I was thinking about that like really quickly like what if like Star Stable could detect like who is glitching their account or like glitching their game throughout the year and like if you were you see Krampus like in the game and it's like oh you know how like Galloper Thompson right like if you do the Holly the um the Hollywood Hollywood no Halloween quest like Galloper Thompson comes out of nowhere and he just scares you what if it was like that before, but with um Krampus they don't even have to like see who's a being a not the best player and glitch in the game they could literally just like for fun like every like now and then like Krampus appears and like scares you and it doesn't even have to be like you were bad this year a thing could pop up on the screen like the screen goes black and it's like have you been good this year like that's it like that'd be i think that'd be like pretty cool to put in the game i don't know i think it's so funny when star stable adds stuff regarding like scary things in the game and they're like oh beware this quest is kind of scary i think it's so funny when they put that in as a warning because like there's people who get genuinely scared which i got genuinely scared because of the Galloper Thompson stuff, because I was, every time I went into Epona to, like, do archaeology quest, um, Galloper Thompson would come out of nowhere, and I'd be like, oh my god, like, it freaked me out. But in a lot of stories, Krampus is described as basically a goat-like kind of creature, and what I've noticed is that in a lot of cultures, in a lot of stories, any creature that's supposed to be described as evil or bad, they have goat hooves, or they're described as goat-like. Which is funny, because if you look into Star Stable's um, holiday quest, like, there's Yule Goats everywhere, and Yule Goats are described as really good and really happy and very positive, and they bring, like, good things to you. So it's really strange it's really cool, actually, how in everyone's stories, like, everything is depicted differently. Like, we all view things differently. So I'm reading from a quick article, and basically Krampus, apparently in some folklore, would, during the Christmas season, scare children who misbehave, and would assist Santa Claus, basically. So the pair, both of them, would visit on the night of December 5th, and when... Santa Claus would, like, give gifts to the good children. Krampus would give punishment with birch rods. Which, like, realistically, a lot of the folklore that I see regarding the holidays, like, for example, um, Santa Claus is, like, he sees you when you're sleeping, like, those, those, like, um, 
those like songs and all that right i feel like they're really used as a way just to encourage children to be good and krampus in my opinion like hypothetically like hey wait like conspiracy theory time tinfoil hats um i think like krampus was really put into stories just to like get kids to like behave better because they're like guys if you're not good this year Krampus is gonna beat you up <laughs> which I don't really agree with that because I feel like you're just terrifying children for like no reason like you don't have to scare kids in order to make them nicer but again like this is like I don't know anything really about Krampus I just wanted to talk about it kind of because I did do some research it's just that like I'm not really I don't have that really much experience with these folklore stories because again like we never talk about this character in my culture or my country because it really is used for movies and that's pretty much it like i've never met a person who celebrated christmas who was like oh watch out kids krampus will get you if you're bad because like we don't have that in our culture you know i'm pretty sure i had a friend one time from the uk who said that every year there was a festival regarding Krampus and like people would get dressed up and they would walk through the streets and have parties and it was really fun so that's really cool but yeah I can't really find much info about it because like I don't really have the info but I think it's really cool to discuss it because I would like to see it in the game because I'm pretty sure the people who make Star Stable they would probably have way more knowledge on the figure than I do you know I'm gonna talk more about like my culture's uh stories in the next video because I want to make a video about Santa Claus because that's what I was raised on. I never once heard about um, Krampus ever. Like growing up the only thing I really heard about was I guess like the Grinch but I'm pretty sure the Grinch is like a... hmm how do I put this? So if Krampus is described as like a really wicked character that will like scare children the Grinch is basically that but like watered down. I guess to make it more um, child friendly for movies but also I'm pretty sure the Grinch isn't even a Christmas character you know like in folklore like I'm pretty sure the Grinch is just a character from a movie so like if you were to watch the movie Krampus um, Krampus is based off of folklore the Grinch isn't from my experience like from what I'm seeing the Grinch is literally just a fictional character but Krampus comes from folklore which is pretty cool. I'm pretty sure Santa Claus is also folklore, but I will talk about it in my next video. Santa Claus in my culture was always described as a person who was real. They were based off of Saint Nick, um, Saint Nicholas, and because Santa Claus was based off of a real person, it's not really considered folklore, but Santa Claus, like the one who like delivers gifts, I'm pretty sure that's folklore. I don't know. I'll get more into it soon, but yeah. I feel like this video is all out of whack. It's so difficult because, like, I love discussing people's cultures and traditions and, like, my cultures and traditions, but it's, like, it's hard talking about um, certain folklore stories when you don't really have the info on the folklore, st the folk, uh, I can't speak English. It's difficult when you don't have, like, the info on folklore stories because you weren't raised with those stories. Like, I could talk all day long about Santa Claus, you know, because, like, I was raised on that but I have no info regarding any other Christmas character really because like it wasn't in my culture so it would be so cool if you have any info regarding um, Krampus or any other Christmas character or folklore or tradition or something like let me know because I want to know like I think it's really interesting but basically from what I could see Krampus is basically just this folklore character who goes after bad kids and his whole point is just to scare children as punishment. Meanwhile, Santa Claus is the opposite of that. Santa Claus gives gifts and is very rewarding and very cool, apparently. And if you do want to watch Krampus the movie, it came out in 2015. And it's a really good movie, like I said before. And I think it pretty much sums up Krampus pretty well. Um, yeah, do you, I have, like, listen, I have really bad paranoia. And um, whenever I feel like I get info wrong, <laughs> I feel like whatever I'm saying wrong will come and like chase me you know like for example if I 
explain Krampus in the wrong way, then Krampus will come and get me, even though realistically, like, we know, like, a lot of these folklore characters, they don't actually exist. Like, like I've talked to people who are in cultures regarding Krampus, and they literally, they know it's just a character, but because I'm, like, hella paranoid all the time, I'm like, oh no, what if I, like, phrase him wrong, and then he, like, tries to, like, get me? Like, I'm so... I don't know. Like, I'm gonna be paranoid all day for making this video now. I'm gonna be like, what if I said something wrong? When I was a kid, bef actually, no, I'm gonna save that story for my Santa Claus video. But yeah, basically the whole point of this video is like, please tell me your culture and tradition and like folklore and all that. I think it's really cool. Um, I tried my best to explain how Krampus works. I hope I did a good job at it because like I really I couldn't find that much info regarding him so like I'm you know I'm just trying oh no I'm gonna get stuck in this aren't I bro every time I do this race that happened last year too <laughs> the penguin it's just really cool to me because like there's cultures that like view certain folklore as like really good but then like other folklore is like really bad like everyone like has their own version of it and i think it's like really really interesting but yeah i guess that's it for this video i will see you guys in the next video bye